our goal is to print out this set of numbers. This is quite a bit different than what we've done before in the numbers that are printing out, but I can take a look at this and I can see that I've still got a 10 by 10 grid. In fact, this grid is a little bit different in that I'm starting at number one and I'm going up to nine. Also here, I'm starting at one and going up to nine. I'd expect this to look a lot like a regular 10 by 10 grid of numbers, and it's a little bit different in that you take a look at what these numbers are. Here I've got two and two giving me a four. Here I've got three and three giving me a nine. Kind of looks like a multiplication grid that I've got going on. Let's figure out how to do that. I'm going to go take this away and start doing code. If I'm going to go from one to nine for a for loop, I can do that with a for i in range. How do I start at one? I do a one and then go up to nine. I use a 10. Remember it goes up to, but not including that last number. I want to do the same thing for the inside loop for j in range. And then I want to print basically looks like i times j, something like that. So let's go ahead and try that. And do our end equals. I need something to drop me to the next line, so I'll put my print statement in here. Go ahead and run this. Hey, not too bad. I am really close. All I really needed to do was go from 1 to 10 instead of 0, excuse me, 1 to 9 instead of the 0 to 9 bit that I did before. And what I actually print out, I just needed to note that it was a matter of these numbers being multiplied to each other. And since I have these numbers right here, all I need to do is multiply them. But this doesn't line up very well, does it? Uh, I got my little weird squiggly thing going over here. No good. I need to get them to line up. One way of doing that is right before I print these, I need to add an extra space if, if what? If it's less than 10, right? Because if it's less than 10, it's only one digit, so I next need an extra space to be printed before I print the number. So right here, which is where I print the number, if it's less than 10, I need to print an extra space. Hey, I can do that. Let's go ahead and do it. If I times j, is less than 10, print an extra space. And I do not put a space in right here because I only want one extra space and I'm printing that space right here. So I do not have the extra space like I do down here. Go ahead and run this, see if it works. Yay, it does. And I've got my grid my multiplication grid of numbers.